surprisingly, in this moment of, I would say, emptiness, confusion, and doubt, I suddenly had this idea to make my first YouTube video. I started thinking and processing my whole experience about this banking, acting, filmmaking thing. And I thought that, okay, this was such a complicated journey, but this was so fulfilling. And I know that even though I'm not exactly there where I want to be yet, I am in a much, much better place than I was before. Despite all this chaos and this uncertainty and all these challenges and all this discomfort and fear that I was experiencing at that moment without having anything firm, I knew that I was so much happier, so much more fulfilled, and my life was so much more meaningful than when I was in that banking job that was so so clear, so prestigious, and back then when I, I was in banking, I had no problem explaining to anyone who I was, whereas when I first arrived in Canada, I, I felt like I was, I was a nobody. If you'd ask me, who are you and what do you do, I wouldn't really have a solid answer to that. But that was exactly my inspiration to start my multiple careers YouTube channel. I thought that, okay, I'm in this much better place now, but I still have to sort out uh, how this all connects and what my takeaways are. But there is so much that I can share with other people out there who are still in that place I used to be, where they feel stuck, where they feel lost, where they just feel out of place and want to improve their career, who want to change their lives and and want to have a more fulfilling life. And that is where I, I started making all these YouTube videos about how um, you can have multiple careers in a lifetime, how it's possible to change careers, how you do not have to stay stuck on one career path and so on. And that was a super, super long journey. I would say it took me a very long time until I got monetized, until I got some traction, but I kept at it. and. Until this point on my main channel, Multiple Careers, I would say I've made over, I think almost 300 videos. And after that, shortly, I also started my second YouTube channel, which is called Living in Canada. And on that channel, I also made around 100 videos and I've got very, very good attraction there. And I've also started this Multiple Careers podcast. And voila, all of a sudden, now I'm a content creator. And that happened gradually, guys. I mean, even the realization that I'm a content creator, that happened gradually. As I said at the very beginning of this episode, it was not like I was in banking and I thought, okay, I want to become a content creator. In fact, at that time, when I was still in banking, I think it was in the 2010s or so, um, I already had a YouTube account and... I didn't really have a channel, but you know that when you have an account, you can upload videos to it. And I just uploaded videos of myself, um, like singing karaoke and also auditioning for films. So I, I uploaded my audition tapes and so on. So I had a few videos up there, but I put them on private. But never did it occur to me that I could actually upload something for an audience to watch and make money out of it. That was like out of the question. That was just out of this world. 